welcome back. I'm Dr. Cong. This class, we are going to talk about the adjuvant and the future and the safe of vaccine. What are adjuvants? Adjuvants are substances that can enhance and modulate the immunogenicity of the antigen. Adjuvants are usually not needed for live attenuated vaccines because these vaccines actively replicate and self-enhance the immune response. However, they are frequently used for subunit vaccines because these vaccines contain fewer antigens and lack some of the intrinsic companies present in whole pathogens that trigger the innate immune response so that an effective downstream adaptive response is less likely to be achieved. For almost a century, Elimina source, also known as Elam, was the only adjuvant approved worldwide, and they still remain the most widely used. Aluminum source act primarily by directly activating innate immune cells leading to antibody production. MPL, a detoxified form of bacterial lipopolysaccharide oil in water emulsion MF59, the AS combination AS01204, and the verosomes are currently approved for humans. Verosomes consist of spherical lipid layers assembly in vitro with viral proteins to resemble viral membranes. They are currently used in influenza and hepatitis A vaccines. So are vaccines safe and always effective? Like all medicines, vaccines can have adverse events. However, because vaccines are given as a preventive measure mostly to healthy individuals, especially infants and children, a highly positive benefit risk profile is essential. Vaccine safety is evaluated in the preclinical and clinical phase of development, but is also continuously monitored after license. Despite the recent successful development in vaccine design, no vaccine provides an absolute or lifelong protection for all vaccinated individuals. In some cases, vaccines fail to induce a protective immune response. So how could a candidate vaccine reach advanced human trials? So first, consistent protection levels in animal models should be achieved. Second, free from gross tissue side effects. Third, pass recognized toxicity test, animal models, and human phase one. A good production record, low cost, stable of formulation. So what is the vaccines of the future? New vaccine designs and concepts are needed to improve existing vaccines or address MH needs notably for pathogens with multiple serotypes. For example, dengue and pneumonia. Antigenic hypervariability for example, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, or an intracellular phase that are predominantly controlled by T cell response. For example, tuberculosis and malaria. So, conclusions. Our improved understanding of the immune system and host pathogen interactions has allowed transition from an empirical to a more regional vaccine design. But the progress is still needed to address and meet needs and improve protection induced by current vaccines. 
So understanding the basic concept of vaccines and their recommendations for use is therefore crucial to understand their benefits and risks. Okay, for from this class, we understand the development of vaccine, the type of vaccines, the adjuvant, the safe and future vaccine design. At last. I see again. There's a good news for you. We had COVID nineteen vaccine now. Human defend the COVID nineteen finally. Many thanks.